hey guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to create a very simple transparent login form using only html and css as you can see in front of the screen i am going to create a form just like this so let's start for creating this first go to your c or d drive i'm going to my d drive and then create a folder i already have a folder called d store i'm going inside it and i have a folder created named css and inside this i am going to create my login form so for that i'm going to create another folder so yeah this is my folder the name will be login form so i'm creating this folder login form inside which i will uh, do my index.html and style.css files so yeah now open this folder using vs code or notepad plus plus as you wish uh, now so as you can see my vs code has opened in the particular folder i intended to so now i am creating a file named index.html inside it i am going to type the basic html snippet and inside it i am going to create the form first of all i need the heading so inside h1 tag i am going to give the heading a login form and then i am going to create a form within the form tags and first the input field of type text where the placeholder will be username that's it and then another input field type will be text and placeholder will be password that's it as you can see i have typed a form heading and inside the form i have given two input fields let's see the output and as you can see the output is appearing like this so to include css in it i am going to give some div tags so i am going to enclose the whole thing inside a class so div class the class name i will give wrapper and then enclose the whole thing inside this div tag okay next i am going to enclose this heading inside another class where the class name will be heading inside it i am going to give the h1 tags and that's it let's see the output nothing happened because we have not applied css yet now i want to add a user icon and the password icon before the input fails so for that i have to include the font awesome icon cdn link in the head tag i have already copied the tag if you are wondering how i got this link so just go to the browser and type font awesome icon cdn and the first website if you click on you will get this many links uh, select the first link and just paste it inside link rel style sheet and ins after the href just paste the link okay my version the version i am using is 6.2.0 uh, your version can be different so yeah now i will search my user icon so this is the user icon as you can see i am copying this html code and pasting in front of the user field and then i need a password icon also so i am going to give a lock icon so i am choosing this icon
pasting this in front of the password field and that's it now i am going to enclose the icon and the input field within a span tag So I enclose the fields inside a span tag. Now I need a button. So I will also add a button. The name of the button will be login. Okay, so link rail style sheet type is text CSS and href style.css because our style file name is style.css. Save it. Now go to the style.css at first so at first i'm going to give a background picture and style the background so for that you can search any picture for the background i am searching background in the browser you can do it like this and then from the images you can uh, right click and copy the image address and use it i already have the address so i am not going to do it again now using the body tag and so i already had the link so i pasted it then i am now let's see the output so as you can see the picture appeared in the background but it's not up to the mark so at first we need to fit it in the page so background size is cover and we don't want it to repeat again and again so background repeat is no repeat and the height should be 100 view height okay save it and see the output as you can see the picture fitted in the screen so now we have enclosed the whole form inside a wrapper class so using the wrapper class we can place the form in a position we need so dot wrapper inside it i'm gonna give the width as 3 350 pixel and then the margin should be 8% auto padding should be 10 pixel and then let's see the output for once as you can see the login form came in the middle now I need to give a background color so background color equals to RGBA the red green blue colors will be zero we are not gonna give any color to the background but the opacity should be 0 0.23 let's check the output once as you can see now the edges are too much pointed I want to round it a little bit so for that border radius not in the same line but okay first keep the border radius as 20 pixel so as you can see the vertices are rounded a bit now let's give some box shadow As you can see the box shadow appeared like this now it's time to style the heading so we have enclosed the h1 tags within a div tag and the class name is heading so using that heading tag or heading class dot heading at 
at first we want to align this text at the center because it is on the left side so for that text align center then give some padding on the top 40 px and again now i want to style the particular h1 tag inside this heading class so for that uh, i want the color to be white and then the font size should be a little bit bigger so let's give 45 pixel then font family well i can give the font family in the body tag itself sans serif one so i'm going to the body tag and font family as sans serif so save it and look at the output yeah the heading appears nice with a nice font so now i want to align the form in the center so just for that using this form tag as you can see i'm again going to this html file to show you that we have this form tag and within this we have the span tag within each span tag we have an icon and an input field so i want to align this form in the center so form text align i want to align the text inside it in the center so text align is center and then let's see the output once yeah the text came in the center now it's time to design the input field and the button so we have both the buttons and the input field inside the form tag so again using the form tag taking both the input and button at the same time so what whatever css i am going to type inside this will be applied to both the input field and the button together okay so the width of the input field and the button i want to keep 300 pixel then height should be 40 pixel and some margin in the bottom should be 30 pixel and then border should be none and some padding on the left 5 pixel box sizing should be border box and then the font size uh, let's give 15 pixel and let's check once how it appears on the output as you can see it is appearing like this so now um, let's give outline as none also coming in same line to move it to the next line we just need to add a br tag after this pan and as we can see the icons are oriented well so so as you can see now the icons are in its right so as you can see the icons are in its right place but if we click in this input tag the text starts from here so we need to add some padding right here so go to the style.css file and then form input because we need to add some padding in the input field inside the form tag so padding left will be 40 pixel 
and yeah, it moved 40 pixel towards the right. So now we are done with the input field and the heading also. So our login button looks dull. So let's style it also. Inside form, we have button. Let's keep the padding. Okay. Let's give background color as 337 AF4. Letter spacing should be 1 pixel. Font weight should be bold and and border radius should be 15 pixel let's see the output as you can see the button appears like this now on putting the cursor on here i want to hover it with some other color so also let's do it also So button hover and shadow shadow should be should be should be And the background color should be and the color of the text should be And that's it we are done with the button okay as you can see when I hover on the button it looks something like this and yeah this is this is your login form this is the transparent login form so how we used color is background color where I added the opacity as 0 0.23 so this is the magic so here I can enter my username and i can yeah that pass so yeah that's it this is all i wanted to show you today so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel because subscription is very important for me right now as a beginner youtuber and also share it with your friends and classmates who can get help from this comment down your thoughts about this if you have any doubts and you can get the code in the description i have given that and yeah Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.